Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Recha Kudash, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation, much love and respect to you, Akim, out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Now, this video is going to be dealing with the topic of division. Okay, because the Heavenly Father is, is creating a great divide between the people. All right, there's going to be the people on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, and then there's going to be the people on the left hand side of the Heavenly Father. Okay, and those that are on the left hand side, they're trying to save their life. All right, and, and, and by trying to save their life, they're actually going to lose their life. And those on the right hand side are going to lose their life willingly for Yahweh by Shem Shai. And ultimately, they're going to get life, everlasting, eternal life. This is that great separation, you know? And even amongst the prophets, you have the false prophets on the left-hand side, and you have the righteous prophets on the right-hand side. That separation is going to be here as well. And through the Spirit, I feel like 2022 is going to be a big year for separation. Okay, I speak as a man, but through the spirit. All right, so that's what the spirit is showing me. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to read Matthew 25 and verse 31. It says, when the son of man shall come in his glory and all his holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats all right and a lot of you israelites are going to be on the side of the goats you know a lot of, a lot of you israelites are on the side of the goats at this particular moment but in the kingdom <laughs> he's going to be you know whoever whoever is not right he says that um bring them hither who will not serve me and slay them before me. All right? So we'll see how that's going to play out. You have Israelites in the Amazon with bones in their nose. You got all kind of nut job Israelites. And don't say, oh, because they see the power, they're going to they're gonna automatically submit. The Heavenly Father puts the spirit of hardening on people for the purpose of judgment. When the Heavenly Father delivered our people out of um, Egypt, he did great miracles. But when Moses went up to the mount for a certain period of time, they lost faith and they were ready to, to kill Aaron so that they can build a golden calf. So don't be surprised at the foolishness of our people, but really it's the spirit of hardening that the most has put on them for the purpose of, uh, of judgment. Now, matter of fact, <coughs> let me get two precepts dealing with what I just said. Let's get Isaiah the sixth chapter. It's a lot here for the for the echo Akim, but um, yeah, I'm in an empty room, so this is uh, Isaiah six and verse verse nine. It says, "And he said, Go and tell this people, hear ye, Salakia, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not." Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their, their heart and convert and be healed. See, because a lot of our people are looking for, you know, uh, Jesus Christo. They're looking for an Edomite to come through the sky. So when they look at Yahweh Shai, they might look at him as the devil, you know, because they're wicked, you know, and the, and the, and the righteous are an abomination to the wicked. Let's not forget that, you know. And even Esau, while he sees that great power, it says that he they would, they would not repent of their evils because the, the Heavenly Father is going to put that spirit upon them. Make the heart of his people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes as they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Romans, the ninth chapter. 
This is Romans 9. It says, For the, um, So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that sheweth mercy. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might shew my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Okay, so this is why he raised up, raised up Pharaoh, so that he can show his power. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will, he hardeneth. Okay, and he's going to harden certain people's hearts even in that time, because the scripture said, bring them hither and slay them before me. That prophecy has to be fulfilled. Okay? That prophecy has to be fulfilled. You see? Because it's, it's written in the scriptures. Did not he come to fulfill? He came to fulfill the law. So all those things that are written in the prophecies, they will happen. You know? And it, it might be hard to believe. Like, how can after they see that great power, how can they rebel? How can they, how can they you know, how can they buck up against that? Well, hey, <laughs> with the most high, everything is possible. You know? You see? Um, let me get... Let me get Luke 12 and verse 51. It says, Suppose ye that I am come to send to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. For from henceforth, from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father. And the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother. And the mother-in-law against the, her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And that's the thing. That's why even now, man, I mean, amongst my own family, you got certain people that took the juice, and certain people are not trying to take the juice. They're, 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 doing, <laughs> they're trying to avoid it. But if they don't have Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, it's going to be of no avail. You see? And we wish that they would come to the truth. We wish that they would fully accept it and submit. You know? But it's not our will at the end of the day. It's the will of the Heavenly Father. And we can't get um we can't get emotional behind that because um we have to understand that they're that they're already dead in the spirit. You see? They're already dead. We can mourn for them now because they're dead in the spirit. <laughs> you know, we don't have to wait till they, till their bodies, uh, their soul leaves their body. We can mourn now, if we wanted to. That's why Yahweh Shai said, "What? Let the dead bury their dead. They're not in. They're, they have no clue what's happening. They can't see. You show them, and it goes right over their head. And they're thinking about what happened in uh in the last soap opera. Okay, that's what they're thinking about. They're thinking about, oh, you know, how delicious those chicken wings taste. You know." Five minutes after you tell them, you know, the great, the great destruction that's going to happen, the, the fact that we have to turn to the Lord, they forget, you know, they're forgetful. And it says, <clears throat> and he said also to the people, when you see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway, ye say, there cometh a shower. And so it is. And when you see the south wind, ye say, there will be heat. And it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern this, the face of the sky and, it, and of the earth. But how it is it that ye, can, uh, that ye do not discern this time? Yea, and why even of yourselves judge ye not what is right? right? Our people are not judging what is right. Our people are judging based upon their feelings. I just had a, a character come on the comment board talking about, you're not an Israelite. You know, and he, just because you say you're an Israelite doesn't mean you're an Israelite, you're a Gentile, and this and that, this and that. And he's as black as tar, you know. He himself is an Israelite, but Israel will, will curse you out, you know, and say you're wicked for telling them that they're the chosen people when everything, of, everything lines up and shows them that they're the chosen people. Even the heathen know, even the certain, you know, heathen know that we're Israelites. But if we tell them that, you know, we're wicked... Because the, the, the righteous is an abomination to the wicked. And there's nothing that we can do about that. We can't, we can't make them get it. We can't, it says, he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. 
<laughs> he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And they're filthy. The Most High has not cleansed them. You see, the difference between them and Cornelius is that Cornelius was an Israelite, but Cornelius was cleansed by the Heavenly Father. That's why he said, um, that which I have cleansed, called thou not uncommon or unclean, because he was cleansed. They were not cleansed because they're not right in the spirit. That's not our choice. They believe in this system. They believe in what Esau has to offer. Okay? And they're willing to, they're willing to die. <laughs> All right? For this system. They're willing to, to put their life on the line. And what's the proof of that? The army. You got Jake joining the army. That's put your life on the line for a, a broken staff, a broken reed, man. Let's get, let's get Isaiah... This is, um, this is Isaiah 31 and 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek, seek Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. <laughs> All right? Because we have to seek him in the name of the Lord. That's a shot for you, um, Sakari characters. All right. Neither seek Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Did it not say that he call uh, ask for anything in my name to the Father? He shall give it to you. So you guys need to sit down and get your school bags and your and your, and your do tangs. That's what we call it up here. Your do tangs and your and your um, you know, your notepads, man, and learn. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil. And will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity, man. Now the Egyptians are men and not God, and their horse is flesh and not spirit. When Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping shall fall down. And they all shall fail together. You see? So there ain't gonna be no help. You ain't gonna you gonna try to get you gonna try to some dude is gonna try to be a hero and he's gonna and that's gonna end up costing him his life. You know, that 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 um that terminator spirit. You know? That Rambo spirit. Somebody gonna try to be in that Rambo spirit and they're gonna get lit lit, lit up. You see? For thus hath the uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey, when a multitude of shepherds is called for against him, forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion. And for the hill thereof. And you have Israelites that don't want to be part of Mount Zion. So he's going to put you in the same category as an Edomite. All right? Like that character that came on the comment board. Okay, you can be a Gentile. All right? You can eat, be a Gentile. You can continue to eat pork. Which there's a prophecy that says when the Lord finds somebody eating pork when he comes back. In Isaiah 66, he's going to kill you. So you can continue. And I know you don't know where that is. Of course you don't know where that is. Because you're, uh, you're unlearned. All right, and the spirit of the Lord is not dealing with you. Okay, but ultimately, you know, the heavenly Father is making that separation, man. And He said, "What?" He said, "Even though, right, we're telling them these things and they're not receiving it." Yeah. Hmm. So I was misquoting it. 
You know, we get spoiled with the, uh, <laughs> with the uh, blue letter search, you know. This is um, Ezekiel 30 and 33 and 32. And it says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song, one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, you know, because they look at it as entertainment. Like the black unconsciousness community, they look at this thing as entertainment. They want to have debates, this and that. It's interesting to them, you know. But they're not, they don't take it serious. For they hear thy words, and, but they, they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Everything that we're saying is coming to pass. Starting with the apostles and elders on down. Everything that we've been saying is coming to pass. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. And they're going to know a prophet hath been among them, man. It's, ain't going, it's not going to be a mystery anymore. It's like, yo, that, them people was a prophet. Especially when this, this MOTB is made manifest, that's going to be a lot of situ. That's going to be a lot of, um, yo, there's going to be a lot of people scrambling to GMS videos, man. And through the spirit, that might happen. That might happen next year. We'll see. But that might, that might very well happen next year because I believe next year is going to be a time of great division. Okay? This is uh, Joshua 24 in uh, verse 14. It says, Now, therefore, fear the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood, and in Egypt, and serve ye Yahweh Shem Shai. So, you Egyptologists, you have a special judgment coming to you because you're literally cleaving onto the gods of Egypt. All right. Although all these people are, you know, yeah. in, uh, indirectly, so to speak, but they're they're serving these other gods. But you guys are just willingly um, being ignorant. And it seems, and it's, and if it seem evil unto you to serve Yahweh, Bahashem Yahusha, okay, choose you this day, whom ye will serve. You know, certain of them are not willing to serve Yahweh Shai, so, so you can choose who you want to serve. Whether the gods which you, your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And that's what we're saying. That's that separation. And, and you know, the conversation with these people are getting more and more annoying. You know, that's why I'm, I thank you how about Shimmy outside that I, I don't work at an office job anymore. Man. I can't, man. And if I were to work there, I want to be able to leave there at any time because, man, the conversations of these people are just grievous to the spirit. It's truly grievous to the spirit. And imagine as this just ju juice is here, <laughs> they'll be talking, they'll be talking smack against the people who haven't taken it. And those people are retarded. I mean, why do you need to know the ingredients? <laughs> just take it. <laughs> What, what's the worst that can happen? And then they, they lose an eyeball and they're like, ah, well, it was, just, it was just a coincidence. They told me it was a coincidence. Yeah, okay, buddy. Then, they take, then, they, then their cousin takes it and they drop dead the next day. Oh, yeah, it was, had nothing to do with that. You know? Because they're willingly ignorant, man. So we got we to gotta separate from these people. And that includes our family members because they're, they're ignorant too, man. You're trying to tell them about the juice. They don't even want to hear it because they understand that they're going to have to make a hard decision. So they don't want to hear it. You're telling them facts and they, they, they're like, okay, okay, okay. They don't want to hear that, man. They do not want to hear it. Like just earlier today, I was listening to the radio and these two Edomites were speaking. And this one Edomite was saying, well, I heard in France that, uh, <laughs> that the people who got, who got the juice is... Um, you know, it's get, getting in the hospital more than the people who are not uh, getting the job. I, I never heard that. The other guy's like, I never heard that. Like, he didn't want to think about that. I didn't hear that. And the other guy's like, yo, look it up, look it up, let's look it up. The other guy's just moving on to the next topic, man. Okay? Because he didn't want to hear it, you know? Because they understand there's a side they have to choose. And our people are choosing the side of, of Beelzebub, the side of Baal, the side of Molech, the side of Baphomet. <laughs> That's the side they're choosing, man. Let's keep it real. They're cleaving to the left hand while we have to cleave to the right hand. We don't got time to be 
Um, and I'm going to do a video on advice about investments, brothers doing investments. Nothing wrong with that. You can make a nice flip from investment. But I want to I want to give some advice to the occupant, man. Lord willing, I, I do that video, man. Lord willing, the most heavenly father through his son puts that spirit on me. But, um, yeah, so they're cleaving. Okay, because they understand they have to choose a side, but we're choosing a side too. And our side is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine. This is Amos 3 and 3. It says, Can two walk together except they be agreed? La'a. Okay, La'a, which means no in the Hebrew. So we're, we're not walking together with these people, man. All right? We're dividing from these people. You see? What's that, what's that division in, in the Hebrew? It's Pelag. All right, going back to our forefather, Peleg. Yeah, there's a great division. Get ready to happen, man. But anyways, with that, I want to give all praises going on to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakwadash. And uh, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.